how that happened. Oh my goodness. Welcome back to another one. Good afternoon. It is a little breezy out here. Uh, we got a little bit later start to this morning than anticipated. Um, I was hoping to get out at first light this morning, but uh, the wife got a new toy, and so we had to go pick it up. Um, wife got a new rig for her uh, for her truck. Got a new farrier cap. All the bells and whistles. It's shiny. It looks good. It looks cool, and she's stoked about it. So we went and picked up that this this morning. Uh, got it all installed and now it's about 11 o'clock and uh, we are out here on the California Delta. For those of you guys that don't know me, I'm Caleb aka Bearded Bassin. Um, we just love fishing and we're out here on the Delta today. Uh, we've had some warm weather. Today is going to be about 81 degrees but there is a slight breeze. There was supposed to be no breeze. Um, we were going to go looking for bedfish today hopefully but uh, I think the main mission that we're going to do today is we're going to attack a lot of the dead end sloughs try to find some cleaner water I'm already out here on the main channel and the water looks cleaner than when I was out here last week so that's a good sign um, tides almost completely out right now so hopefully I can see them um, if not we're gonna try to hit those pre-spawn areas um, see if we can uh, get a couple fish to go so come along with me I'll introduce like what I'm fishing how I'm fishing what I'm fishing with today and uh, hopefully we can get on a couple main mission five bites what did he say five good bites today that's all I'm asking for. So, let's go fishing. All right, so we just pulled up in our first spot. First dead end slough. It looks pretty good. Um, I will say I forget that the MLF is going on right now, so there's quite a few boats out here So we're gonna see if we can't sneak in between the boats and uh, get some fishing in but I sh Showed up back here. It's my first time being in the slough in a couple weeks and there's a lot of a lot more growth in it So that's a good sign Waters significantly cleaner. I would say probably Three to four foot visibility back here also another plus plus. Um, and the water temp is looking Looks like it's sitting at about 60 degrees right now, so we should find some on beds i don't think they're completely 100 percent doing the spawning thing right now um, last year at this time i think the spawn was like coming to an end so with all this weather that we've been having uh these fish are just been finicky so i think i'm gonna start punching frogging see if we can't get a frog blow up see if we can't get a punch bite but what i've got on the deck right now is i've got the lipless can't go anywhere without this lipless is what i caught my fish on last week got two punch rigs Got the chatterbait and I got the frog rod. So, so that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna pluck at some of this bank and see if we can't pick a couple fish off of it and uh, get some good content for you guys because uh, we need some big and we need some big old delta hogs. So, let's get to it. That looks like a bed right there. Can't really see no fish on it. Now normally I wouldn't really punch this stuff because the way the tide's setting up there's a lot of grass farther out but it looks healthy enough that there might be a fish sitting under one of them. We're just gonna have to punch along and see. That was definitely a fish and I missed it. That was definitely a fish and I missed it. Okay, so there are fish sitting under the mat. That's good. That is a good sign. Sucks that I missed it, but I need a new bait because I ripped it. Okay. Oh, first bite. Hey, that's a good sign. 10 minutes into my first spot. I'm already getting bit, so. That fish bit this bait. I really do love, and I know a lot of you guys dislike the Guggen Squad and whatnot, but this punch bait right here, 
It's literally like one of the few things I really throw to bears. I got a whole bag, as you can see. But this punch bait right here, it's nice and thick. You have something to bury your hook into, and it doesn't just shred apart after one or two fish. So right now I'm throwing California or uh, watermelon red flake, just because the clarity of the water. But if you guys look at how that bait fits in there, I mean that's just perfect. It goes through so easy. Let's see if we can get this fish. As I'm kind of going through this grass, I'm really keeping an eye on what the bottom composition looks like. And I am seeing some open holes. Granted, the water clary is, isn't good enough so where I can see the bottom to see if there's actually a fish on a bed. But it might be that I have to take like a Cinco, something light and just blind cast in these holes, see if I can get bit. Might have to tie one of those on here shortly. grass looks really good in here just hoping to get just a little bit of a piece of the puzzle to see if these fish are sitting in the grass in these open pockets underneath this cheese or setting up on the outside because water temp is now 67 so they should be fully committed to beds right now a lot of these mlf guys could have picked them off too could have already been back here i'm not seeing a whole lot of activity so i'm gonna keep plugging away Oh my goodness. All right, so I wasn't, I wasn't getting bit punching and frogging back there. And it's not to say that there isn't any fish in there, but this water is clean enough on this side that I can actually see the bottom. So what I did was I picked up a big six inch mag draft and I'm just gonna blind cast down the bank and then keep my eye peeled as I'm looking, you know, for these holes and spots, see if there's any fish on beds. So that way I can fish cover a lot of water um, but also keep my eyes peeled just in case I do see one on a bed and if this you know I've got this wig rigged up uh, weed list but if this goes across you know a fish's bed or something like that it might give me an indication as to where that fish might be so I'm just gonna blind cast keep my eyes on the bank see if I can see anything stop if there is a bed see if we can't find a couple the bed right there no fish on it from the looks of it it looks like people have already blasted down here all this grass down here is chopped up it's probably been fished pretty hard over the last two days it's that time of the year man tournaments every weekend Seals killing off fish, it's gonna be a tough year on the Delta. God, that was a fish. Okay, got a bite on the swim bait. Right off the tip of that Thule over there. Let's see. Teeth marks. Could indicate that there's a fish on a bed. Don't see any teeth marks. There's definitely a bite. Let me throw this back over there one more time. It was a very subtle bite, but it was a bite. Might be just a fish moving it off its bed, but. Oh no! 
No. No. Gosh, that was a big one too. Frick. He about ripped it out of my hands. I was not paying attention. Well, that's the second punch bite I've missed. That sucks. That fish was right where it should have been too. A little bit deeper water. Nice big clump of grass. Right. Wonder if we can make it on the other side of this. There's like a three pounder. <sighs> okay, well, that's like the third punch fish that we've had. That one came off right at the boat, but he wasn't hooked very well. It was like a three pounder just chilling up here in the grass, so. We're gonna see if we can't make our way under this uh, dock right here, this bridge, and uh, see if there's any fish living at home in the back. So, poop. That would've been a good one to have in the boat. This is the size of fish that I'm seeing back in here. He definitely been buried in the grass. Oh, I got a hook in the finger. And that's the fish. Don't know how that happened. Oh my goodness. Not too bad. Well, before I was rudely interrupted with a hook in the finger, that's the kind of fish that I've been was seeing swimming around. I did see a couple of three pounders, and then the one I dumped on the punch rig was better than that. But hopefully they get bigger. It's just like a little pocket back here. I was just gonna check with the drop shot and see if there's anything else in there. Keep on missing bites. Mm, shouldn't have set the hook that hard. I knew there was going to be a fish in that. Moment. Might not have been a very big one, but oh, that hurts. It's been so long since I've had a bite coming careless with my flips the next day well it's the next day we had some pretty tough fishing yesterday so I'm out here brought my good luck charm with me and hopefully hopefully we're gonna get on some fish today because yesterday was brutal um, it seems like I keep picking the wrong spot during the wrong time of the year so we're headed to a different area of the Delta right now and uh, I think we're mainly gonna focus on punching so we're gonna look for a thick heavy cover yeah, that's the only thing I got bit on yesterday we're gonna run around 
bring you guys along, see if we can't catch a couple fish. So let's get to it. Water clarity is a little bit better. It's already warmer back here. Maybe I need to slow down. Maybe I'm fishing too fast. Tying a Cinco or something, maybe. I just broke off yeah. on a fish. Poop. Dude, why can I not hook these fish and I keep doing stupid things? Gosh. I'm gonna sink out. Come on, eat it. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> wow, first fish. Size comparison for this. Look at that, six inch, six inch Cinco, seven inch bass. Now, how does that thing eat that? First fish of the day, this is brutal. Absolutely brutal. But hopefully we figured something out. Slowing down our retrieve, almost dead stick in the Cinco. Hopefully uh, this is what makes the magic happen. Well, the first punch fish of the day. Well, I think we're on them, guys. First punch fish of the day. Oh, it's brutal out here. We're still looking, though. I can officially say we're upgrading. <laughs> oh, that was a frog blow up. That was a frog blow up. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Hmm. 
Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I broke another one off. Dude. That was another good one too. What the Delta bent me over its knee and had its way with me. I don't think I've ever had a bite that tough for two days straight. Probably 18 to 20 hours out here on the water to not catch one keeper. It's brutal, absolutely brutal. But there are some positives. We saw a couple big fish up cruising, still didn't see any beds and uh, definitely broke off on a couple fish today. So. Got more bites than yesterday, which is good, but still very tough out here. So I know that the fish are here. I know that they're willing to eat. Uh, the bite windows are very, very small right now. And if you're missing that bite window by five, 10 minutes, it's gonna seem like a desolate desert out here in the middle of nowhere. And you're gonna be scratching your head wondering what you're doing wrong. So granted, I know I could have downsized a whole lot, you know, through the drop shot and stuff like that and caught fish, but the power fisherman in me is just screaming. The weather's nice, the water temp is getting up there, and it's just screaming for a reaction bite. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle. I'm gonna upload it, regardless of whether we catch fish or not, so you guys know what's going on out here and uh, for content's sake. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for the next one. Wednesday, Windy Wednesday Nighters are right around the corner. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.